Gusset. <laughs> Gusset. Hello, and welcome to Not The Vroom Cupboard. I'm going to sort out my sim rig. Well, I'm going to design a sim rig. So it's probably well known on the channel that my sim rig is a little bit homemade. Okay, it's very homemade. It's completely homemade. It's made of wood and it houses a 30 Newton meter SimuCube one wheel on it, which is, um, let's say it's not the perfect solution. To stop it from flexing, I had to bolt it right to the wall. That's not the only thing wrong with it though. It's, it's the way the wheel is on it. There's, uh, now there's not a lot of flex left and right. Up and down, there's a flame and ton of it, which is um, not ideal. So the other thing I'm gonna sort out is I'm gonna see if I can sort out a monitor stand as well to go with this. Cause my monitors, uh, again, they're sort of put up with a bit of wood and Although they do the job, they're not quite right. They don't sit in the middle, they don't sit square, but I want to make it so it's it's right and I can actually set up my triples properly. So that's today's video. I'm going to design an 8020 aluminium extrusion rig, custom designed to fit in the cupboard. Anyway, I was looking about on YouTube and I found um, a video which I'll link in the description of um, someone using this piece of software, which is Meerkat, um, to design their own sim rig. And I thought, you know what? I can do that and I'll have a go at that. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a go. The first job is to go into the cupboard and get some measurements. How big is the current rig? It's one point, it's 1.3 long. The height of the wheel deck is only, the height of the wheel deck is only 60. Oh, I've only got like one meter ten to fit the monitors in. Screen, let's get some screen measurements. 72, 32. I've got me measurements. It's a good start. Got me coffee. Let's go. Let's have some 40, 80. Let's lay this down. Oh, like that. Let's just, yeah, just type in. 1.3, so I can copy, paste that. There we go. Oh, look at that, it even tells you how far away it is from here. So I'm just using the mouse wheel, just zooms us in and out. And then you can use the right click on the base so you can just turn it around. There we go, so it does click in. So I want to do the seat end. I want to put in this 4040, so at this end, at this end here, I can sit the seat that little bit lower because I'm so height restricted in the cupboard. That's where the problem comes. Whoa, that looks huge. How is that so huge? It looks absolutely massive. Gonna go up. So this is doing the pedal deck. Maybe just. 50. The other thing I want is one about here. Oh, I should have measured that. So I have to go and measure that now. Right, so 400 mil. Copy that, paste that. We just want to put it there. Across here, one there. One there. Why do I get the feeling? Should have put all of the uh, little joiny bits in first. <laughs> Find and speed. That's the guy who did this. If you want to see how to do this properly, go and have a look at Find and Speed's video. Sure, I've done this a little bit differently, which I will sort out. Backwards a bit, backwards a bit. More difficult than I thought. Right, so let's move you. And we can pop in some extrusion for, I want you 440. No, oh. oh, there, okay, well. 
moved an arm to here like that. Good, good, getting somewhere. While we've got this like this, let's work out joint, see? Gusset. <laughs> Gusset. <laughs> right. Mm. Need some 39, 40. Gusset in there. Just like that. Lovely. Whoa. And then another one in there. Right. So we have, we have that all jigged together now. There's something on here. Some big, big, big ones, like, they'll do, they'll do nicely. One of those on either side. So we've got a place to put a seat. Now we need a place to put some pedals. I think that's probably the best thing to do next. Put that there, so it's already 80 high. If I call it, I want a nice bit of range, 260. Extrude arms from here to there. Quite long. Well, anyway, we've made something that would sort of do the job. Only 600 euros. Let's try. Here to there. I'm trying to make myself a bit of a frame to mount my monitors on. I also haven't done a wheel deck. So yeah, that will mount the wheel on very nicely. I just need what do we do eh? What do we do? Maybe something under like that? Thank you. That's strong. Mm, probably one of these moving joints, you know. 40-40 with heavy lever. Dread to think. Oh. Yes, that would do the job, wouldn't it? I have no idea how they connect together, though. Absolutely no idea. So, we've got it to 1,237 euros. I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> oh, crikey. Looks like I have over-engineered this ever so slightly. <clears throat> Don't need another one of them. So, all in the cost reduction, eh? Get rid of that for now. Get rid of that for now. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Look at all the money saving. Oh. I might just be done there. That might do the job. There's a lot of stuff there. There's a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of stuff. Ooh. That was designed up a sim rig out of aluminium 8020. Um, I don't think it's gone too bad. Looks all right. Costs a bit though. Costs a bit. Hmm. Definitely need to think about it. Definitely need to think about it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed watching me struggle to make a custom sim rig for the room cupboard, well, please leave a like on the video. If you really liked it, consider subscribing. And I suppose, um, bye for now. <laughs>